Living off the grid in very cold climes is difficult for everyone, as the documentary series Life Below Zero makes evident. In the National Geographic program, a number of subsistence hunters who encounter difficulties nevertheless persevere in isolated regions of Alaska are featured. Sue Aikens, the only resident of a tent close to the Kavik River, is one of the show's beloved cast members. Even though Aikens describes herself as one of those people, peace love granola hippie-ish in my own way, she's really one of the show's most determined characters. She was attacked by a bear, and she had to wait 10 days for help. Her senses were right, and she saved her own life. Where is Sue Aikens? Sue Aikens has lived near the Kavik River for a long period of time. In addition, she owns the Kavik River Camp, where she spends a lot of time by herself. 200 miles north of the Arctic Circle are her nearest kin. On July 1, 1963, Sue was born in Chicago, Illinois, in the United States. She spent some of her formative years at this location. She is now pursuing a career in reality TV in addition to other pursuits after relocating to Alaska. She is now 60 years old. Her father often moved the whole family around while she was growing up, and her parents divorced when she was still a little kid. Following the split of their parents, Sue and her mother moved to the city of Fairbanks, Alaska. She had a hard time adjusting at first, but things became much worse once her mother left and she had to learn how to live alone in an unsafe place. After learning to hunt from an elderly Alaskan, who also taught her how to use a handgun, she made it through and developed a deep affection for the area. Her lifestyle was distinctive, drawing a lot of attention, and she had lived in Alaska for a considerable amount of time prior to the program. She was chosen as one of the first cast members of LBZ when National Geographic heard about her and began getting ready for the program, and she has been on it ever since. She appeared on TLC's Sarah Palin's Alaska prior to the episode. It goes without saying that it was this effort that made her camp so well known and made it possible for her to be considered for LBZ. She also made an appearance on Flying Wild Alaska. Panama is the film that Sue has created in 2022. The Alaskan reality TV star broke during the production of the Life Below Zero episode, The Crash, and she filed a lawsuit against the show's producers in 2017. Producers of the program drove Aiken's snowmobile across an ice river at six kilometers per hour, which angry her. When she accidentally stepped into the ice heave, she suffered injuries in an accident. She said that the situation was intended solely for fictional tales and that she felt forced to record it against her will. Despite being aware of the risks, Sue Aikens first advised against filming the program there, but her recommendation was ignored. She said that she and many other crew members had been subjected to verbal and physical harassment by one of the show's producers. She said after the incident that the rescue crew had taken too long to come, even though she was in critical need of assistance. Aiken sued the BBC, producer Aaron Melman, who she said forced her to do the act against her will and several other employees in the U.S. District Court in Anchorage. She said that the event damaged her business abilities and prevented her from taking part in the program. Aikens, who had owned over 30 dogs, requested an undisclosed sum of money from the court and said that he suffered mentally as a result. Considering that the attack occurred in 2015, it was unclear why it took her so long to decide to file a lawsuit. This was the main subject of dispute in the legal action. Sue Aikens filed a lawsuit against the LBZ inventors in the same year that she owed federal money. She was furious with the government for permitting the exploitation of gas and oil in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. She was told at the time that the government planned to remove her and that she had no rights in the area. It is said that she was given another old cottage close to Chena, Alaska, because of a few issues. She made the decision to acquire an alternate location so that she wouldn't be taken by surprise in the unlikely event that she became the focus of government action and her present residence was taken. After a bear mauled and attacked Sue Aikens, rumors about her death began to spread. She almost lost her life when she made direct contact with a grizzly bear, putting her survival skills to the ultimate test. Nevertheless, a lot of people were curious to find out about what she did for surviving online. In April 2007, she was working at the remote Copic Aviation Refueling Station when the attack happened. Sue was traveling to get her last supply of pumping water from the Kavik River before it hardened. So it was just another ordinary day for her. She had no idea, however, 
that a young male grizzly bear was attempting to take over her area. The bear came at her as she was inserting the pump, hitting her and pulling her to the ground. She was entirely reliant on her now that her gun was near the water. She had no choice except to pretend she was dead and hope the bear would go away. Sue was repeatedly attacked by the bear, even on her head, even though she believed she was dead. But she will have one more chance to live when the bear heads back to the river. She was still in danger, even with her injuries. People began looking for Sue Aiken's obituary as soon as she disappeared from the program and her home. The obituary of Sue Aikens contains false information about her mysterious 10-day disappearance from Alaska. Sue waited in her tent for 10 days prior to help arrive after surviving the bear assault that day. She had severe symptoms, including a fractured knee and bite marks on her cranium. But she managed to survive because of her extraordinary strength and survival abilities. Sue was quite stressed following the bear assault, but she continued to live and work at the Kavik River Camp. Since the catastrophe, she has also been in the forest. She still lives in Alaska with her Malamute-owning acquaintance. Sue's two kids and three grandchildren assist her in the meantime. She is said to be worth $500,000. She is one of the richest cast members of Life Below Zero. It's incredible how much money she gets paid for being in the main cast. Susan Akins, the television presenter of Life Below Zero on National Geographic, posted some really upsetting news on social media in June. Unfortunately, she was mourning the death of a loved one. In two photos, Susan Aikens of National Geographic's Life Below Zero discloses that her lover is gone. Thank you for being the most adorable poochie ever, Lil Bob, she said in an Instagram caption. On Facebook, there were differences in her respect. She told her pet how much she appreciated him being her best friend. She went on to say that he was the best dog she could have asked for. She shared on Instagram a sweet photo of her cat curled up on the back of some sofa. It seemed to be a blanket draped over a couch or chair. Her furry friend had its feet wrapped around a yellow toy, which it was using to prop its head up on. She shared a vibrant photo of her animal companion, having fun on its back on Facebook. Her dog was gazing up at the camera when the photo was shot. Sometimes, while she looked through her Instagram feed, her beloved cat appeared in the background of one of her photos. This tragic Instagram post was unfortunately her final one in a few weeks. Many of Susan Aiken's followers found connection in her tweet. They knew what it was like to lose a fur kit. Several opted to share their own heartbreak stories rather than simply express their sympathy. Some expressed their thanks to her for taking the time to share the beautiful photos of her furry kit. If you liked the video, please subscribe for more videos.